Hello everyone, it's Wednesday, September 4th, and it's time for another quick update. On this episode, John is in court this week. Mike joins us also from the Chilliwack City Hall about the city's rainbow crosswalk proposal. So let's get right into it. It's the first week of school. Last week we sent out an email where we highlighted some of the ARPA resources that you can make use of as you prepare high school class curriculums, catechism classes, homeschool plans, or school club materials. We featured our lesson plan packages and our free webinars that are available for you to use. For more details on these items, you can read reach out to me at colin at arpacanada.ca. Now John joins us today from the courts in British Columbia. Yeah, so we've been hearing from um, the lawyers for the father in this case. Um, we've been hearing about uh, evidence, about um, the, the challenges with this type of hormone treatment, the risk of this hormone treatment, how well or how not well those are known and how well those were disclosed to AB, the child in this case. That's kind of been the, the factual dispute. Uh, this morning, we don't know yet uh, what kind of uh, expert evidence the court will uh, look at um, or, or accept or what kind of weight they'll, they'll give it, but that's been the subject of this morning. This afternoon, we're going to turn to issues of family law and constitutional law and questions of did the lower court properly um, tell the father to not talk about the child's uh, gender with, with anyone or try to not persuade his child to uh, not engage in this course of treatment. So that raises obviously some questions of parental rights, freedom of expression, um, what is in the child's best interest, you know, to not hear a different opinion um, than she's getting from a doctor, like from her father, all those kinds of really, really major issues with uh, kind of long-term importance that may come out of this case. We're at the highest court in the province, so what the court determines on those things uh, will, will be a lot, uh, sorry, will, will be very important. Thanks so much, John. This is a very important case, and we ask for your prayers as it continues. Now, Mike joins us from Chilliwack. Hey, everyone. It's Mike Shooting here. Thanks, Colin, for that. I'm outside the city of Chilliwack City Hall, and uh, they just had a meeting in which they decided against the Rainbow Crosswalk. Um, and, and I give it to the Chilliwack City uh, Councillors. They had to make this decision in place of about 50 people dressed uh, in the front um, with paraphernalia, rainbows, etc. cetera. Um, but they made the right decision because cities should not be in the business of advocacy. That's up to us as Canadians to be involved in advocacy efforts. So I love the fact that there's people who want to advocate for their ideology. That's what makes our country so great. But our cities should not be in that business. And I'm, I'm glad that the city made the right decision today to deny the application for a rainbow crosswalk here in this town. Uh, so encouragement to everyone who lives in other small communities across the country, you can take measures and steps to ensure that your city also does the right thing and denies rainbow crosswalks from their communities right across this country. Back to you, Colin. Thanks, Mike. We heard from several council members that they received a large amount of email communication about this crosswalk proposal and that it was what made the difference for them. Your representatives heard from you and made the right decision, so thank you. Finally, I have a staffing update. Mike will be taking an extended break from his work with ARPA and We Need a Law, and he will be back on November 1st. That's all for this week. Thanks to you for watching Quick Updates. Please do like, share, and subscribe, and we'll see you next week.